Look at this. Two great cameras. Two great cameras. Hi, it's Peter Zellum's Greeny Flix Adventure 8 and I'm out bicycle riding again, exercising. Today's video is going to be comparing the Leica M240P to the Leica M10R. Both are full frame 35mm uh, format. The M240 is my older Leica which is 24 megapixel and the Leica M10R is 40 megapixel. So I've recently upgraded to the M10R and I went for the black paint limited edition version and there'll be a link to, to, to the links that I have already. I wanted to get the M10R for a couple of reasons and there's two main ones. One was okay more megapixels so that if you do decide to crop then you can crop a larger amount and still have a great shot and the other one I wanted for the low light condition so today I've come out about it's about four o'clock right now so by the time I finish my little journey or sojourn through and around the harbour and around Sydney I should be able to get some, um, some sunset here as well as some uh, twilight and, and darker situations so I can really compare the low light handling as well so I've got my little bag here of goodies and in the bag. So we've got the M240P and I've got the Similux uh, 35mm 1.4 lens on this one and uh, then the other camera is the M10R black paint limited edition nice and the lens I've got on this one is also a 35mm lens, but it's the F2 Simicron and it's an old vintage lens, so um, 1975 or thereabouts. So they are the two cameras that I'll be comparing today out in my little twilight shot, sunset, dark uh, and low light conditions. So we'll go grab some shots, see what I can find and we'll do some editing, have a bit of a light show. Show. We have a bit of a slideshow and let's see how we go. Okay, the seagulls have come back. So that first sequence of shot was shots were uh, F11, 200 ISO and uh, at shutter speed of 125th. Shooting JPEGs black and white. You probably don't know where you can see that. It's black and white JPEGs on both cameras. And that way I'll have the color raw to compare as well. In addition to the black and white JPEG. So that was at F8, 125, 125 of a second at ISO 200 for both cameras. I actually dropped my new camera. <laughs> the strap got caught around the handlebar of the uh, bike as I was trying to take a photograph and then slipped out of my hands swung on the uh, on the handlebar and then the camera hit the ground so luckily I had uh, the case on it so that absorbed some of the, the bumps and whatever and I think it just hit the edge of the lens here added a couple more scratches anyway that's all part of photography isn't it <laughs> So the lesson there is, just be aware of what's happening to the strap and uh, make sure it's on something. <sighs> anyway. Boy, 
not a bad backdrop uh, here. <laughs> We've got the new Crown Casino there in Sydney and also the Sydney Harbour Bridge in the distance. Alright, first shot, camera strip around me. The moves. Focus on infinity. Should be about right, 125, 125th of a second, 200 ISO. Camera. Name setting. Focus on infinity. Something I only discovered the other day after owning this camera for a couple of years is the M240P. You can set up the viewfinder so that it's the framing lines in the viewfinder, instead of being white, you can actually have them as red. <laughs> bit, of a, bit of a novelty. Um, not sure, I might just have to get a sort of a close up in there somewhere. I don't know whether you can actually see that. Normally they are white. They are white on the M10R. Let's see whether you can see that. Okay. You have to be careful with these old um, sleepers here and the old timbers. Um, as soon as you lean against it, it gets splinter. It will require operation later on. All these little disasters along the way just to take a few photographs. The light is dropping quickly, so um, that's good. Be able to get into a, some darker situations and then try out the low light capabilities of both cameras. So I'm going to start shooting at higher shutter speed and a larger f-stop. Well, as in this larger f-stop number. So probably we'll, we'll shoot at f8 and we'll try and push up the ISO and let's see how the two cameras handle the different ISOs. So. That's the right exposure. 2 50th of a second, 5.6 at ISO 3200. Okay. It's on 5.6. All right, well, while we're here, let's go push this even further. 12,500, here we go. Go to 25,000. Let's go to 50,000, max out. All right, well, we've got an image. Um, lots of noise. You will see. Well, first impressions looking at the back of the screen of the M240 at shooting at ISO 6400, it's actually looking pretty good you know, compared to the M10R. It's really going to be interesting to see what it looks like on the computer screen and in Lightroom and how much of a difference there is. Incredible lighting, of course, Sydney Harbour at night. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's beautiful in the background here. Yes, one of the privileges of living in Sydney and living close to Sydney, so you just go for a bike ride during this lockdown that we live in. Well, that was exciting. Now let's go and have a look at these photographs taken with both these cameras and um, in Lightroom and see what we got. So here we're taking a 200 ISO, 35 millimeter lens in both cases, as we know, and I'm taking the same shutter speed, one, one twenty-fifth of a second. And now, um, I'm not sure whether we're shooting F8 or F11, but uh, disregard what Lightroom is telling you because it's making the best guess as far as what the aperture is, but they are the same aperture. Um, this is the M10R, 
And there's our image. And if we go on to the 240p, um, can you tell much difference? I don't think so. Let's have a, and now I've actually reduced the M10R to the same size as the M240p, so they are 6,000 by 400 pixels. Have a look at them side by side. We've got some seagulls here. And you can see both images are pretty close to each other. I think with the M10R, you can see there's a bit more detail. Now we are actually zoomed in at 300% here. So the image is breaking up a little bit on the M240p, which you expect because you've got a more pixels, more detail with the M10R. If we were to go back to 100% here, can you really tell the difference? Not really. These are the raw files straight out of camera and then I've just converted them into JPEG files using Lightroom. Again, we've got 200 ISO. We're shooting at the same f-stop and um, it's probably likely to be either f8 or f11, probably f11 I'd say, and at 200 ISO. So let's have a look at the full image. So this is the M240p looking very nice and the M10R and also looking very nice very hard to tell them apart let's have a look at them side by side this thicker section here and uh, so we've got the M240P on the left and the M10R on the right and we're at 100% at 100% you can't tell them apart we go to 300% what do we see do we see really much when we've got so much light and so much detail very hard to tell them apart. If you're looking at this on a TV, then you definitely wouldn't be able to see any difference. Even on a computer screen, it's very hard to see. Both great images. Let's go to the next image. So now we've got the bicycle. I like the shot in both cases here. Quite different because of the sun being in the image, it's starting to show up some characteristics of the individual lenses that I'm using. Ah, no, this is a Simulux here on the M240p. Let's have a look side by side and see what we notice. So if we look at the detail here, both are sh shooting at f8 or f11. But anyway, even though the, my readings here are saying quite different, one is showing 6.8, the other one is showing f16. But I suspect they're both at f11 here or f8. This is also zoomed in at 300%. You've probably got more detail here on the M10R compared to the M240P. You notice it in the spokes. Again, it's very hard to tell. Okay, let's have a look at the next shot. This is the M10R and we're shooting at 200 ISO, 35mm. The f-stop again is going to be the same in both cases. So it's the M240P, that's the M10R. Can you see any difference other than the framing? We'll have a closer look side by side, pick a spot. Okay, so M10R on the left, M240P on the right. I think we've got more detail here. We can see one Sydney Harbour that seems to be a bit clearer than the M240P because we've got a few more mega megapixels to play with. In the sky here, maybe, yeah, you can see probably a bit more grain here in the M240P than the M10R. They are very similar. M10R, M240P. So now we're at 6,400 ISO, 6,400 ISO, 35mm f4, so I want to say f4, they're probably both at f4. Okay, the focus point is this sign, and at three, zoomed in at 300, M10R, M240P, I'm actually really impressed with the M240P at 6400 so that's its maximum ISO so you can see the M10R on the right is smoother the grain really starts to come out at 6400 ISO on the M240P compared to the M10R this is exactly what you're expecting and you see it as we move further around into the image uh, the grain is really quite evident in the M240P, which is what you expect with the new technology of the M10R, uh, being able to handle ISOs th uh, up to three stops more than the M240P. If you were just had the had these on your computer device of some kind, um, you wouldn't be able to tell much difference at this level. Yes, okay, you can see that there's 
a bit of different ribbing here going on in the sky between the light and darker shades uh, whereas on the M10R it's all very nice and smooth uh, in this case here my new focus point is out here in the distance so that's the M10R and that's the M240P now in this image here also I did do some adjustment I did similar adjustment on both photographs just to bring up the shadows and to reduce the highlights and that's the reason why the, it's the whole image is pretty much evened out on the M240P again you notice that it's maxed out at on its ISO rating and therefore the sky here you can see some banding going on in the sky on the M240P on the M10R it's nice and even which is what you would expect because we've got a lot more latitude but all in all the M240P is giving me a very pleasing result nevertheless right that's the M10R now there's the M240P okay then you really notice here how the image is starting to break up these really high ISOs these are all the M10R photographs but what I've done is now I'm comparing different ISO ratings so 3200 6400 12500 uh, 25,000 50,000 and then 50,000 with some editing these are the raw files straight out of the camera that's 3,200 looking pretty good for uh, 6,400 this is oh, again or the M10R 12,500 25,000 so you can see between 12,500 and 25,000 the colors start to change a bit and at 50,000 in between 25,000 and 50,000 you can see that uh, we're having the same sort of issues that we had at 6,400 on the M240P where the we see some banding starting to come in and the colors starting to break up a bit okay so then we've got two shots here 50,000 ISO this is straight from the camera and then I tried doing some adjustment in Lightroom just to change the shadows and the highlights I'm not sure whether I produced a better shot or a worse shot I was trying to get it close to 25,000 ISO alright so this is an interesting comparison so this is a panoramic shot with the M10R two photographs stitched together in Lightroom at 6400 ISO it's giving us a pretty big file 35 megabit byte uh, image JPEG image and the file size is 10600 by 4100 so that's probably about a 50 megapixel photograph we've got a lot of detail let's look at 100% so we've got a pretty nice image going all the way from the edge here with someone adjusting the curtains and as we move across the image a very nice shot I did the same shot with the M240P so that was and here's the M240P so at 100% you see the grain coming through so the M240P and a panorama produces quite a nice shot too. Let's have a look at uh, the tower here. M240P on the left, M10R on the right. You got a bit more grain here on the M240P, which you would expect. These are both at 6,400 ISO. In the water, you notice that particularly the M10, the M240P does have a lot more grain in the roof here also. But uh, both images produce a wonderful result, even at 6,400 ISO. Yes, the M10R is better but both produce a great shot. The last shot is this one. This is the, um, I haven't got a comparison shot here. I just took the one shot with the M240P at 6,400 ISO. We get a nice shot, 6,400 ISO. And we've got nice colors, uh, quite an acceptable shot. Again, depending on how you're posting this. So are we any the wiser? <laughs> I'm so impressed with both cameras, both the M10R and also the M240P. What can I conclude from all this? I think I have to keep both cameras. They both have their advantages. I think when it comes to stills, both cameras are fantastic and both uh, are going to be used without a doubt. The M10R is 
great for low light and got that extra capacity. Particularly you've important for night photography, starlight and that sort of thing. Now I've provided some Amazon links, uh, affiliate links in my description if, if you are in the market to purchase any of these cameras or any sort of equipment, whether it be Nikon or Leica equipment, it's all in my descriptions. I've got all the stuff that I do use, all the cameras I use. If those links are useful to you and you do purchase something, then through that affiliation that will help my channel as well. So I appreciate that immensely. It all supports the channel so I can produce content for you guys. I'm running some surveys from time to time. Um, there is a survey there. I'd be interested to see what sort of viewers I have there on the photographic side, whether you're beginners or intermediate or whether you're advanced. Uh, please do click on that and, and let me know. Uh, I will give you some feedback as well as I get more and more responses. So finishing up, hope you liked the video. Thumbs up if it's uh, been great for you. Really appreciate your support helps us creators to create more content for you if it's the first time to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe that would be great uh, so just click subscription and press notifications at least you'll be notified when the next video is out thanks again for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next video cheers bye